Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Father and Son Days, the Unexplainable Guide to Absolutely Nothing. We are in the year 2022 now. We are indeed in the future. And on the 49th episode, it's not the future, sorry, it's not the future, the 49th episode. <laughs> okay. And we are looking at 2021 in review. Excellent. Look forward to it. Stick around if you want to hear more. Hi, Dad. How are you? Um, just before we get into things, yes. Um, just wanted to play off that t- 2022 thing. You do realise that it's not the future because it is the year 2022. Well, it's it's it's. I know. I know. It's actually today. It's New Year's Day today, 2022. Yeah. Yeah. As we're recording this, it would be However, the second of January. It, it feels tomorrow. like it's the future because it's the next year. It's an. It's a blank page. It's a. It's a blank canvas. It's 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 such an exciting time. It does it's feel like it's not really a blank canvas, is it? It's it's like someone's given you a canvas, but they've um, they've already got some rules like, and regulations sorry, it's like, on it. It's <laughs> like you've you've drawn on a piece of paper, yeah, but your ink was so wet that it's sunk through to the next piece of paper. So you can do your best to try and draw over what's what's bled through. Oh right, and it's a picture of a thingy as well. Yeah, and yeah. someone's drawn a willy on it. Yeah, so um, but really, in reality, you said about it being the future, but this whole podcast is actually about the past. It is. Yeah. It is. It's about yesterday and the previous. Was it a leap year last year? Um, oh, I can't remember. I don't think so. It's about yesterday it and 20, the previous three hundred and sixty years. I'm pretty years. sure it's always an even years days. Wow, three hundred and sixty. No, I haven't. Years. I haven't. I can't remember. It that wasn't. It wasn't a leap year because that's normally on even years, isn't it? Okay, so it's about yesterday and the previous. 364 days. Yes. Anyway, what's your name? Uh, David. Ah, oh, introduce yourself, David. Hi, my name's David. Um, I wear shorts whenever and wherever possible and have grown to despise trousers or leg prisons, as I call them. Interesting. Yes. Have you got any items of clothing that you despise and don't like to wear? Um, hello, my name's Connor. Oh, sorry, Connor. I'm hello, the son Connor. of Father, which you are. Yes. Uh, and this is called Father and Sundays. Yeah. Um, and my least favourite bit to clothing is all of it. I prefer to be naked. Do you? Well, not when it's cold. No, I would have put money on you saying a thong. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I wear those quite a lot. I know you do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Get wedges. Yeah, I do To be washing. fair, little fun fact. I don't wear thongs. Little thong fact. <laughs> little thong fact. Um, Spider-Men yeah. often wore thongs when they were shooting Spider-Man. And also quite a lot of um, the a- actors in the MCU who wear those skin tight suits just because it helps with the thing. The look. Yeah. Lovely. Um, that's Man thongs. Man thongs. They are no different really from... I think they've got... A yeah, pouch. But, yeah. Well, uh, anyway, anyway, this um, is not what we were on here to talk about, was it? <laughs> no. Well, I've got a whole other episode on thongs anyway. Oh, have we? Yeah. Is that the, that's, in, that's the 51, up. is it? Well, oh, 49. We're nearly 50. 50. You are 50. You're 51. I'm 53, Connor. You're 53. Thank you very much for knowing, you know, exactly what <laughs> You're my, exactly you know, 30 years older than me. I know. I mean, it's so easy. I don't yeah, know why you've been I got confused because 20, 21. Um, anyway. Yes. This is... Episode 49. Yes. And as we mentioned, we're talking about 2021 in review. What does that mean, Dad? Well, it basically means we look back on uh, the year. uh, We look back on the year as far as, well, I I guess I might be stretching a bit saying globally, but about what's happened during this year, what's happened around the world. Uh, We'll also look at things that we particularly, you know, our triumphs, our best times, maybe even at some of the not so good times. Mm. But, you know, just basically look back, reflect uh, and uh, reminisce. Yeah. And um, so of of 2021, and are we going to give it a score? Out of what? Seven. Seven. Well, it's a very difficult one here. Don't have to give a score now. Okay. I'm saying because normally in reviews, people leave reviews of like films and stuff and they give it a score. Oh, right. Um, now, yeah. we're talking about review in the sense we'll look back, but I think we should also give it a score. Year advisor, we'll say, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, really, let's face it, there's a bit of an elephant in the room with this one. It is, it was a shocker. Shocker, shocker. Because we started. Are we doing um, 
sorry, are we talking about the year as globally, first of all? Well, yes. Sounds like something we should have discussed before. I mean, we, uh, we, that's why I said that the elephant in the room. Basically, we started off 2021 mm-hmm. in lockdown. Um, Quite literally for me, I was in isolation. You were in I isolation got, I got anyway. I a ping in the ping, de- was it that yeah. era, era? But anyway, I got a ping. But then obviously, you know, this was a time when we were we kept thinking we were going to come out of it. We kept thinking things were going to get better. We didn't imagine that we'd still be having to cope like with all this stuff. The Ream song. Yeah, very much like that. But, you know, the, the, the other song they released that wasn't so successful, which was what an absolute storm this is all turning out to be um so we started off in and i mean lockdown i mean i mean i know that people around the world have had to deal with this but i think we only had one lockdown in 2021 so it wasn't all bad it wasn't all bad but it lasted a fair old time didn't it? yeah it pretty much and i came out with uh the um, a, a, a plan of action i mean that's you know, we we do laugh about that, but there apparently was a plan of action. I've actually looked at some um, stuff that was sent out to sort of remind myself of what we could do when and all the rest of it. It's just a crazy thing. Sorry, just to go off a little bit, but it's is strange when you look back and about the stuff that happened this year, mm. and it makes you wonder, wow, this is years are long things, aren't they? Well, it feels like the y- longest ever year, but also. It's, it's certain parts of it have gone by in a flash. So we started off in lockdown. Now, lockdown, you know, we certainly aren't um, in the worst position when it comes to being in a lockdown. We've got a roof over our head. We can afford... So did you say we are in the worst position? No, we, we aren't. aren't. We weren't. Uh, okay. And we continue not to be because we've got a roof over our head. We've got plenty of things to amuse us. Um, we've got money for food you know we we can we can do we can you know we can get around it both of us obviously we worked we had to carry on working because our particular jobs were perceived to be um key roles key workers as such i hesitate that because obviously the real key workers were the the nhs and the emergency services and people like that but we we still played a part and you delivered COVID tests. By Juve, oh, we we certainly do now. By Juve, do we play a part? I mean, it it appeared that every man and his wife was sitting at a computer pressing uh, buy, 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 yeah. buy. And it, as a postman, it was like Christmas quadrupled after Christmas. Yeah. So it was a challenge, but again, is, uh, I was very lucky to have a job. And throughout the past two years, there's also been an increase in the amount of podcasts that have been started. Surprise, surprise. Well, that was so. On the flip side, but of that, what I was going to say is, um, most of those were by people that were working from home or didn't actually weren't actually working during a pandemic, were furloughed. Uh, yet we just thought, yeah, not, we've and, and not, not got an idiot that was working as well. Work. Well, no, I mean, actually, we'll touch on that. Obviously, we that will, was an yeah. idea. Um, that you came up with uh, that I was a little bit sceptical about at first. But, you know, we'll, when we'll we when we talk about more, yeah. the bits and pieces we've done that we feel, I think triumph might be a big word to use in that, but certainly enjoyable mm. from, our, uh, from, from what we do. But, okay, so lockdown. Then there was shortages, as there has been shortages of everything. Well, shortages was a big thing for 2021 because you not only had... Well, for one, Brexit. That mm-hmm. was start of the year, 2021. Brexit was actually done, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, well, done as to the point it could be. Brexit happened. COVID's still a thing. And then, all of a sudden... Can't get anything. Can't get anything. What's happened? There's a boat stuck. Oh, no. There was that boat, wasn't there? There was in the Suez Canal. The um, Was it the Evergreen? Yeah. And we spoke about it actually kind of close to the time as well and the fact that um, there was uh, chip shortages for PCs. Ikea couldn't get any furniture, still struggle apparently. And all these kind of things that still have caused delays because they're done so much in advance. Yes. And it was just crazy. We mentioned it with the, uh, actually going back a long way uh, to start this podcast, the video games episode and the fact that or even other episodes where I was struggling to get a PlayStation 5. Mm-hmm. 
that sorry that was first a bit... world problems that really isn't it it but, is and i'm very conscious of the fact that the the uh, we, we will take the lighter side. It yeah. might not seem like it at the moment. But we, we are, there's no point in us talking about some of the really serious issues because there's people far more intelligent out there who, you know, who, who, can, uh, who can look at those things and drill into them, right? So we're going to take a slightly different edge, uh, sort of route through this. You look at all the negative things. No, no. But, you know, it started off with food, though, didn't it? It started off with certain aspects. Um you couldn't get toilet paper. No, that was 2020. Yeah, I know you couldn't. And you couldn't get pasta. Uh, and that was, you know, at a time when I would find you'd either have one or the other. So I was either having lasagnas with toilet roll in it or wiping my bum on lasagna sheets. It was horrible. But then you come into, like you say, the 2021, and it started to be other things. It started to be, I think consumables, consumables, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. But it, it was, like you say, it was like... Um, uh, furniture or electrical goods or things like that and, and suddenly it, it shows you how you rely on all this stuff because you kind of think oh you're, you're so used to being able to instantly order well, things. with brexit in europe and stuff like that how how more how much more difficult it was to simply just get something from uh europe even to the point with we've, we've mentioned the Suez canal thing but also uh throughout this year h HGV drivers. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's a shortage yeah. of those because a lot of them came from Europe. And then and they ended up asking them to come back and, and yeah. try and help us out. I had to work out another kind of visa for them to well, be able don't to. Don't get me on that sort of stuff. I've still got a parcel sitting in Austrian customs that hasn't made it to their recipient yet because they, they've got some issue with what's in there, which are two scarves, two hats, a, f- a funny CD. And a couple of greetings cards. And let's hope the recipient isn't listening so they don't know what's inside their present. Oh, I don't think they're going to be worried about spoiling it, whether they'll ever get it. I reckon there's a couple of Aust- Austrian sort of border controls sitting there with woolly hats on, scarves, so, yeah. listening to that CD with a couple of cards up on their mantelpiece. Who listens to CDs nowadays? Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. So, yes, it has become a bit of a lottery as far as what... It doesn't... It, I guess it does make sense because it'll be certain pe- things coming from certain places but um you you've you've got a bed but you haven't got a bed yeah so i actually based in this room we've, we've we'll go into more personal things about this room but i've had a bed delivered with the bed frame the mattress uh the mid beam uh but they couldn't get hold of the slats straight away so the slats are still on their way. <laughs> so I've currently still got my old bed, um, a mattress sitting in the on the landing just yep. outside the door, which takes up a lot of space as a king it size does, as well. It does, yeah. And the mid beams in this room, to be fair, it fits in this room quite nicely underneath the window. Um because it was big and heavy metal and I'm thinking heavy metal, really. um and I was thinking if the kids were to go past it yep. and then knock it onto the head, that might hurt. Uh, but the actual bed frame is still in its boxes downstairs. So yeah, the mattress. I mean, is, to a certain extent, it's, it's, with Christmas going the way it did, that meant that we didn't actually have to move. No, no, quite. <laughs> well, we'll get on to that as well. But the mattress being there, I mean, as an older gentleman, I have to get up and go to the toilet about five or six times a night. It's quite good and for acoustics, though. It, it, it's quite interesting. It kind of yeah, and but I have bounced off it a number of times where yeah. I'm not really got because what I like to do is I like to not wake up. So I've got this method where I close my eyes. And I don't have them completely closed, but I only have them slightly open so that I can go, go to the toilet and come back and pretend that I haven't actually woken up yet. And then sometimes I can get back to sleep then. Do you know a fun thing about this room? Uh, go on then. I can hear whoever's on the toilet. Nice. Yeah. I'll give you a shout out next time. To Dedicate a something to yeah. you. <laughs> Pl- uh, top of the plops. <laughs> top of the plops, yeah. <laughs> Tell one. <laughs> back up at number one. Right, yes. So... So there's a no, been that a top lot. of the plops is number two. Yeah, it is number two. Yeah, um, so there's been a lot of issues from that point of view. But obviously, vaccines, vaccines. Yeah. Wow. When they that started the talking about that, that has got to be one of the in- most incredible things ever to for 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 people to pull together to make that happen. I would say Aurora Borealis is probably a pretty cool thing. Yeah, but. 
What, the Northern Lights? Yeah. Well, yes, it is, but I'm talking I would, about... I would say it's better than vaccines. Yeah, funny enough, if they'd have said to me at the beginning of the year, you can either have a vaccine or we'll, you can go off to um, Scandinavia and have a look at the Northern Lights, I'd have probably said, well, I'll leave that for another year. Scandinavia and done a, pretty good, to be fair. Well, they've got loads of furniture, haven't they? Because they couldn't get it out of <laughs> yeah. the country. <laughs> there, there was the wall of wall. Wardrobes. Anyway, look. So Billy bookcases everywhere. Everywhere. Um, but the vaccines, incredible. And the, and the volunteers and the people that have got it working, because just before the new year, they started talking about, mm. um, started to talk about like sort of, we might have this. And you kept thinking, well, yeah, will we though? And then it's just been incredible. And I, I mean, know. The rollout. I mean, it's not been as great in other countries to put a bit of a downer on it. No, um, but, but it's from our perspective, it's, it's one of the few things the government has been able to do with organisers worked. Yeah, but, but because we've got such we're an incredible thing now. with the NHS, well, we are on the booster now, and it's we all feel, feel a bit like pin cushions. But uh, that has been incredible, and and to a certain extent, has given us a little bit of our lives back you know and mm, i yeah. and again i will keep saying well, i am very aware that lots of other things have happened and that people have been not so we're fortunate. double vaccinated though we've tried to avoid as much as we can we're double vaccinated mm-hmm. um mum got unwell yes we were testing negative absolutely every day and still are testing negative absolutely every day so we don't have to isolate we're only doing exactly what we have we want we need to do essentially well we, we've kind of made some decisions based on the fact that we think we'll limit the amount of yeah. exposure because why wouldn't you if you don't have to why would you, why would you go out and and yeah. put people in danger but yes you're absolutely right we've had a bit of a kick in in the last week or so with it all but you know these things happen and again it's not the worst thing in the world and and mum is well and yeah, she's she doing really well got, now. got through it and all the rest of it so there's been yeah. a lot of people asking how she is. Yes. And uh, she's doing really well. Very popular person, your mother. Yeah. 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 Yeah, <laughs> she is. <laughs> but look, so that was just immense. And it was, you know, you, you kind of watched how certain people, like some of the more vulnerable people in your family were getting the jabs. You're thinking, fantastic, that's them. They've got a certain match. Then the next lot, then the next lot. And the last guy has been the, I know you're not a child, but the that that sort of age range. But it, it you know, it's well, got it's to, still going. The second yeah, jabs for some certainly age is, range. But it, it's got to go down as one of the most incredible uh operations that that's of it i've ever witnessed and and we are living in by the unprecedented NHS times. yeah by the nhs nhs are, are continuing to be uh uh something to be very very proud of i would without being the people that i think have done the best in the nhs is the doctors and nurses the people lower down the chain well you could always say about <laughs> the yeah the people at the top who who um, make the business decisions but you yeah. know it's a difficult thing to look at I don't understand it completely all I know is that the people I know that work in those sort of areas of of just I mean they are working so so hard and putting so much effort into it and putting themselves into danger all the time in order for other people to and sometimes people that are you know to in my eyes sometimes think well why are they getting because they're they are they are not really helping. They might be anti-vax or whatever. But why are they? Yeah. Why are they putting themselves in that sort of situation? But yeah. yeah, so that is a good thing, and it has enabled the country to open up a bit more. And we've had it's a still little perfect, but, but it's not perfect. And we've had a little wobble towards the end of the year. But when you think about it, from about July onwards, we were able to start doing things. We were able to go to shows we'll be able to go to watch football um all those things and that there was a and really difficult still time back. for a lot of people still, things are still back you can still do these things you might have to wear a mask for some of them but yeah. you can still do these things which is yeah. fantastic when i watched a film recently just had to wear a mask throughout the whole thing yeah you don't have to wear a mask in a club though 
Yeah, I don't really get it. But then I, I don't go to clubs anymore. Drink, and I, I haven't gone to clubs for a long, long time. Well, yeah, I suppose you're always going to be doing that, aren't you? It's like running. A lot of the <laughs> stuff that, that I do, a lot of my, I, I do a lot of running. I go out and with a club that I run for. And obviously, you start off, you're in the open air, which is good anyway, but you start off and you might have a mask or something, a face covering. And then once you start running and you're out and you're not near people, you can... And it, and it, and it has given me a, a certainly somewhere to to uh, sort of get rid of some energy and to get my head straight. Two minute debate. Well, now it's time for a two-minute debate. It's the time where we have a debate in two minutes, and that's it. Yeah, we just stop after that. Oh, well, clever. whatever happens, happens. We ain't done this for a we little while. We don't discuss it again. Yeah, has it's been a little while. Yeah. And this particular two-minute debate is more like a conspiracy theory, a conspiracy theory made up by me. Okay. Um, although it could be true because yeah. it's a conspiracy theory. So this particular conspiracy theory: giraffes aren't real. They're an animal made up by the man to distract us from the exploitation of elephants in the 1800s, which were used as fire engines. You are for this, and I am against. So giraffes, right? I mean, look at them. I I don't feel like this is even an argument. How can they possibly be animals? They've got a huge neck, right? They're ungainly. Everything about them screams that they're manufactured manufactured yeah so but i've i've physically seen a giraffe yeah no, I've seen of course you've seen a giraffe right so they are real that, well no, no i'm not saying that they are not there i'm saying that they're not actually animals right what I are mean, they then well there are a number of people in a costume why don't you think they make noises they make they eat you read it no uh, they eat yeah yeah, well, they where's that going? yeah, yeah, yeah they do that but they don't make noises and everybody, if you read up, they say, oh, they've got no vocal cords. They've not got no vocal cords. There's plenty of vocal cords in there. The problem is, if they actually speak, you'll know it's a couple of blokes. couple of blokes? Well, there's a number of blokes in there, depending on how big the giraffe is that you're looking at. Because obviously, they've had to really elaborate the lie by putting different sort of species and obviously fake the sort of birth of There's of so giraffes. many of them in the wild. Yeah. There's literally so many of them in the wild. And they're in zoos as well. Yeah. Uh, there's, I think there's so many of them that they have to be real. No, of course they don't. Why would they have to be real? Why would something why be would, designed that look like that? Why would they not be real? Well, because there's no need for them. They don't serve any sort of purpose at all. And and so why would you want them anyway? So why all did they, they create are them? is a distraction. They're a distraction so that you don't get the ump about the manipulation of elephants who, let's face it, are fire engines because they've got jets of water coming out of them from all <laughs> angles. So that they are just that. They are just a distraction. And you fell for it. And I can't believe you fell for it. So, Dad, I mean, that, that must be it for 2021 then globally. Um, it must have been everything that's happened in that first well, bit mentioned. no. Of course it's not. I mean, they're the serious things. They're the things that have affected everybody. Not necessarily all the things, like the mattress in our landing. That only affects us. But there have been some rather special moments within this year. We've talked about them before, but I will not apologise to talk about them again. But nothing else happened globally, no? Loads of things happened globally. It's just Connor. Been, but- but not enough time don't to talk people about. really want We're us to talk about it? We're talking about globally because if you watch the news and you watch Big Fat Quiz of the Year and you do all these things, you'll hear about all these things. I don't need the year. to hear it from us. You don't need us. to hear us talk about it. You can hear us talk about what's amazing about this year, that, well, 2021, that happened to us. For one, go on. You, you weren't. They weren't. People weren't around to listen to us in January 20. They weren't, and we touched on this. Yeah, we touched on this a bit before. I mean, I remember you saying to me, and we were. I mean, we did have things to do, but we were in lockdown, and and we were working. But you said you quite fancied doing a podcast. Now, I used to listen. I think to it's podcasts. because we spoke and we've listened to things like Adam and Joe and stuff like that. And we've, oh yes, and we've plenty, gone, and we've I still do. And gone, we we could probably do a podcast and the fact that the, the conversations we have sometimes because 
the conversations we have on this aren't too dissimilar to what we'd have in real life, except we target the conversation a little bit more. Yeah, it's mind bending this place where we live in this house. It, it some days I I go to bed and I just don't understand what's gone on, but. You know, we, we you suggested it. I was a bit reluctant because I didn't really think that what we had to say, or, or I didn't really understand. I, I'd listened to podcasts, but I didn't really just didn't have the confidence to do it. No, you can, without sounding funny, you can kind of tell from the first few episodes. I mean, we'll probably go more into, because next episode is our 50th episode. Yeah, so, so probably we'll go more into the podcast thing, maybe to potentially that one. Yeah. But you could tell from the first few that, and even the point you said to me, you uh you do the intros and stuff like that because i feel like you'll do that better Hmm. because i think you're a bit like if i'm just speaking like it's a conversation with you i'll be fine but when i think about doing anything yeah yeah, yeah, you've got a lot more used to it and i think we both have we're both a lot more used to how you do if he's i am able to switch off from the fact the only thing you haven't worked out is how to i'd say you are doing very well this episode i'm very proud of you but over the last couple of episodes, you've gradually moved away from your mic. That's something that you've. you've well, I get not a little bit animated, the and then um, because I have to constantly. I think you move. forget that this is what. Yes, <laughs> means yeah. People because, can you hear. think I'd know because I've used them for many, many That's years. That's why I wanted to make sure you had a headphone headphones eventually because I could always hear you drifting off. Yeah, but now I can hear myself drifting off hear. as well. Yeah. yeah, but no, and I have enjoyed it, and it's uh, you know and. A scattering of people have enjoyed it as well. And a scattering of people around the world have enjoyed it as well, which is still very, very weird to us. Um, But that was a positive thing. Doing this podcast has been a positive thing. It's been a good... Oh, that was going to sound a bit weird, but it is a creative um, creative output. Outlet. Outlet. That's the word I was looking for. Um, Otherwise, I wouldn't... I'd have a loads and loads of really stupid songs just sitting in this a drive the thing, somewhere. Though, the songs you've written for this podcast, yeah. you've probably written more songs this year than you ever have done in any years gone by. Yet you, you've always you've always written songs, really. I have, yeah. I've, There's I've a lot of stupid been songs. There's are some that are better than others, um, but yeah. There's a lot of songs you've written this well, year. Well, it's quite difficult to do something then, every week. And then also, well, at the beginning, we never said we we're going to write a song. We said we'll do maybe an advert. Uh, what? Well, yeah. But we we never said we'll do a sting every week. Yet you've decided you're going to do a sting. Oh, because that, that's what I like doing. I yeah. must admit. And sometimes it, I, I, to be I, fair, I'm my own worst the, enemy. The entire to podcast has evolved. I'm my own worst yes, enemy. Exactly. Yeah. Um, the entire podcast has evolved in the fact that there's even extra bits in the middle now, which I think on the most part people enjoy We've just try to think up new things up a little bit. I have a very monotonous job yeah. so while I'm walking around dealing with um, the idiots that are general public uh, it gives me an opportunity to sort of work on some really yeah. ridiculous ideas for things and some of them fly and some of them don't yeah I have a very creative and strange ideas sometimes so being able to write a two minute debate about an absolutely ridiculous argument yeah is, uh, yeah, is no. something so that's and been I like good. doing the the banner side of things as well and and the editing of the actual podcast oh yeah and, and, that, that and the equipment's good. always fun to have oh, I like is. buying new it equipment is. it's not bad at all but obviously that's only looking at one aspect of this year which yeah. is the podcast which bear in mind we're doing the podcast right now is probably quite a big aspect of the year and actually has taken up quite a lot of it doing it every single week since we started in yeah, February yeah it's quite a challenge to do however yes there's however yeah there's been a lot of other things happening in the year I mean we've had Visits to say Edinburgh cancelled again for one, but for reasons we've already gone over. Uh, one thing that did always had a little bit of fear in my mind about a little bit of travel we had to do this year that didn't get cancelled, and we had a whole podcast on it. Annie's wedding, Annie and Chris's wedding. Oh, and that's a huge highlight of the year. That was and a massive one. Unfortunately, we, we were missing some people who couldn't be there f- yeah. because of COVID. Uh, however, Everything else went perfectly, mm-hmm. and apart from the pork, there was there wasn't enough pork. Yeah, well, that, I wasn't worried about that um, I because I was pork. top table, <laughs> and we got served before I was on my dessert when you people don't eat were pork still anyway. getting. No, I don't eat pork anyway. Um, but yes, that was wonderful. It was such a great day. I was such top a table. I was top table, mate. I I was done. I'd had everything, you know, what literally on I? a plate. Huh? What table was I? You were sort of. 
Are you table three or two or something like that? Yeah, I think like three. Wasn't but you it? weren't doing too bad. But some of the people down the end were getting a rough. Well, they end were of serving. The deal. They were serving you guys, yeah. and then they were pretty much working from my side of the room to the other. Yeah, and I so was you didn't do just too a couple bad. tables in from the other side. So, but that was wonderful. It was something I'll never forget. Moments that we've talked about before. Walking your sister, my daughter, down the aisle. Um, I've just had a Snapchat from that sister, but I'll have a look at that in a moment. Uh, making a speech, talking about that, you know, seeing them in their dresses, uh, your sister, my other daughter as a bridesmaid as well. And mum. My new... Br- uh, uh, and mum, looking beautiful. Uh, my new son-in-law, yep. which is I'm so pleased about. And, uh, and yeah, and it's been... That was fantastic. Then, obviously... You have another sister. I mean, this is quite literally going on to uh, what was potentially discussed last episode. But, yes, my other sister, she started the year in this bedroom. Yep. Well, actually, she was staying around Sam's at the time. But she started this year kind of in this bedroom. And as the years gone by... Seen less and less of her. Seen less and less of her. Uh, points lit- pretty much living around Sam's. Apart from her dressing gown, which she yep. likes to leave. She's still got that here. There's still one here. And I think it's a kind of marker. Yeah. It's a kind of, I have left, but I haven't left. Um, so when she comes around, she does like to sit yeah. with about 400 layers on. So she, it helps her. She she has gradually moved out, though. And there was a point where we said, well, you've pretty much moved out. We could start to do stuff with this room. But she then came back for a while, I think. A bit too scared to let's start straight yeah, away. What was that? Um, but yeah, and eventually... But bought yeah. a flat. She bought a flat, yeah. Moved in and now we're engaged. So mm-hmm. I'm going to get another son in law. And redid the flat as well. I redid the flat. A lot of we work. We went there today. It's really well, lovely. <laughs> looks really great. So that's great. Well done, so sir. it's always the nice. Flat. It's always nice to have news like that. We had the news from uh, your eldest sister that. You're going to be an uncle. I'm going to be a granddad next year. So that's something really exciting to look forward to next year. There has been some rocky points, not with those two, but with other things that have happened. I know. mean, I imagine there probably has been rocky points with those well, yeah, two, but, but then, I don't know yeah, what they are. We, well, don't get involved in that, no. no. So, yes, I mean, obviously you had a bit of a, a little uh, prang in your car. Little prang, oh, yeah, little prang, it's been written off, yes. <laughs> which, but now you know things have worked out all right, and you're still sitting there, yeah. And you know, doesn't seem to be anything wrong with you. It's sure it's sorted. Wrong with it's you off beforehand. my mind now. Just need to focus on getting a new car. Yeah. So that'll be a new thing for 2022. You getting a new car? I'm in a new bedroom. You're in a new bedroom. It looks really cool. It does look really cool. Um, we put it up means pictures that after the last time we recorded, we put up pictures on the wall. I have not once. Had to sit with no shirt on. I know it's now winter. Yes, but you it's to such that, a small you? room. The other one that it was ridiculous. You, we we and we started off when I was in a different room, laying on the floor, so we could actually yeah. get the signal sort of thing. We did. But the now this is comfortable. I don't mind being here. I'm fully clothed. You know. Yeah, I I prefer you being fully clothed as no, well. No, no, I understand. In fact, we're wearing hoodies as well. We're more clothed than we would you we were. probably need. Yeah. Um, and even then, maybe in the summer, we can put a fan over the other side of the room and that wouldn't be picked up on the mic. I don't know. It's just, we'll, we'll have a think. But we, we had the uh, Zoom call the other day and with this room being seen by my like my aunt, my uncles and stuff like that. And uh, some of them saying that it looked like a... Like, like NASA. NASA. It, looked like a, it looked like mission control. I've got two monitors, a drawing tablet set up as another monitor I, as well, and a TV I, all connected to my it PC. It does look rather spectacular. And if, when I was your age, I'd have loved something like this, but they hadn't been invented then. Um, what you've mentioned, Zoom. Obviously, Zoom has become a big thing for people. and for, Or alternatives like Teams. Or, yeah, things like that for people when they haven't been able to get together. We certainly did it last Christmas. We did it this Christmas, even though we were locked down. We did it this Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got to say, I don't know how long that lasted. It felt like it was about four and a half hours. Um, obviously, it was to break some it's really exciting mo- uh, news that we've just talked about, but it was probably the most excruciating time of my life. Do you know why it was really excruciating for me, personally? Yeah. Because... I had these mics set up and what would happen? You do this on phone calls. You would just sit there and just shout 
at the TV. I'm old. That's what you I do. You would shout at the TV. There's a microphone there. You can talk, yeah. talk into the microphone like you do at the moment. I don't see when I look at something. It's when a bit are, like when you're talking into something. The other something. day, sorry, the other day, me and Mum was sitting in the living room watching something. Or I was I was out in the kitchen and then you were on the phone. So I then went into the living room. I went, I went you. She went, you right? I went, yeah. Dad's just really shouting on the phone. Oh right, okay. And I went into the living room and then you walked in to check up on us, talking on the phone really loudly. And I was like, <laughs> the thing is, what puts me off is if if I look because cameras are not and on your phones as well, cameras are not where you think they are. So you're looking at the screen, but the camera is above it or something like that. So you never look like you're paying full attention. So I look at myself on a screen and I think, well, why am I looking over there? That's there. And I look over there, but then I can't see. And I look over there. And in the end, I get so confused, I start shouting. I think that's, no, that's my, not the reason. You my just... default. Yeah, I'm starting to get louder here. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting yeah, I can louder. Tell. Yeah. But what was happening is you, you just, as soon as someone said something, you'd shout something and you're thinking, whoa, hang on. I just, it was just delays and people freezing and I think there was a certain um, I think particularly with Nan's PC she was playing the audio out loud which was being picked up by the mic which meant it was being a bit of playback to it and we could all hear ourselves which meant that sometimes things would overlap and you couldn't hear and and then everybody stopped to let the other people go and then it was a little bit and yeah Uncle Andrew lost connection a little bit it was him, shocking, him to be honest with Jane. you. And uh, it'll be a long time until I have another one of those Zoom calls again, unless it's completely scripted. Fewer people makes a, it easier. Everybody has a 15 minute slot to well, talk. The, the idea of the Zoom calls, generally, that, that's a meeting tool. That's yeah. a meeting where some, one person leads a meeting. Yeah, I get that. But it's. It, well, then we're doing it like that next discussion. time. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone we did a quiz turn. once and that worked out all right. We'll do it like that next I time. I don't think the quiz worked out all right. It did work out. It was fantastic. You about the Quizmas, the Christmas one. The previous quiz was, yeah. Yeah, no, that was all over the place. The quizzes that have worked out all right are the ones that we've done like with five of us. All oh, right. Okay. Fair. fair that play. was okay. The yeah. Quizmas one was okay. But it was very long and we had connection issues again because when you get so many people and I don't miss sound rude and I know I'm going to get punched by one of the nans. But when you start to get stuff like the nans on board and people nans that might on board. be... That's might a new be, film I'm working yeah, on. Yeah, really. Yeah. And might be slightly technically challenged people. Um, it then becomes a whole lot harder to do yeah. these things because... And I had been nothing against them, but... This is the idea is we initially we were going to have both the Nans and Sue in the room with us. Didn't quite work out as, as it, we wanted, Expected. but it meant that I could set up everything. Everyone was here. There shouldn't be any problems. Annie should be okay. Becky should be okay. Rob works in IT, should be okay. Andrew's work with computers should be okay. Everything would be fine. Um, however, it they because of what happened everyone was in different places mm. and I felt bad for Nan because I was on the phone to Nan trying to get her to connect we did get her on um, but okay. yeah but that's just a little bit of a gripe there what else anything else that you particularly that stands out for you in uh, 2021 um, no no I can't think of anything right no. now my running was going all right. It's been a bit on and oh, off. Oh, my running started getting a bit better recently, and then I got then I was in a car crash. Oh, will you stop banging on about the car crash? Sorry, banging on. I didn't. Really yeah, you should say that. The fireworks yesterday genuinely made me go a bit like whoa. Yeah, because that's the same noise that the airbags I'm made. I'm not 100 percent sure that was fireworks, but there you go. I think there was a few missiles being launched yeah. from yeah, just a road away from us. But I, I am, um, I was very chuffed this year because we have an awards thing for, and I, oh yeah, I got a, a club run of the year, joint club run of the year. Thank you very much. I've, I've been waiting for ages for someone to bring it up. No one has, so I'm having to bring it up myself. Yeah, but I was meant to bring it up on that episode. I think I, it, I mainly won it because um, I'm, I'm a uh, one of these people that. You see people when they've had their photo taken when they're running and some people look incredible and, you know, they catch them and they're mid-air almost and they're, they're constantly flying around. feet, don't they? I always look like I'm gurning or hugely, hugely, dangerously constipated. And I think I'm, 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 I'm a bit of a beacon of hope for those people out there who don't look beautiful when they're running, don't look absolutely fantastic, 
just like looks up like someone who would rather be anywhere else but where they are at that particular time. And I think that's why I got that award. But there you go. Very pl- chuffed, very pleased. Very pluffed. Very pluffed. And uh, n- w- w- what will happen next year? Who? Well, this year. Uh, this year? In the future? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is the future. Yes. Yeah. What will Except happen, for Connor? today. What will happen? I don't know. Would you like me to tell you or? No. You know what, Dad? This um, this year's been crazy. It's been, it's been ups. It's been downs. I was trying to say the word low there instead, but I realised I hadn't said the word high, so I decided against it. Okay. And this is my thought process now. Yeah. But a lot's Speaking happened. Speaking out loud again, aren't yep. you? Yep. Yeah. I tend to do that. I oh speak yeah. Sorry. Out loud. Yeah. Yeah. No. Sorry. That would be really boring if we didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. really Slightly better, podcast. but really boring. Too. Yeah. yeah go it's on. Better podcast. Um. But yeah, I've there's been ups. There's been lows. There's been lows. Yep. <laughs> and and uh, I just but there's so much that I just can't think of it all and I really wish there was a way of summing up the year well I always find when I'm having difficulty sort of explaining something I do it in the sort of medium of song yeah I also like to do it in a slightly wrong key for my struggling voice so why not give something I've listened I've put together for you hit it January the first of many months We thought things would be different But the lockdown is still around And everywhere's a ghost town February is not much better I'm getting pretty sick and tired Of people ignoring all the rules and regs Selfish, mindless bunch of smegs 2021 turned out to be another shocking one Think that 22 won't be the same old part of Doggy Do. March things will start to change. Thank God at last we could arrange some exercise, but just for two, no holidays for me and you. April, most shops were open. The rule of six should not be broken. But if you meet your friends outdoors, you could mix with slightly more. May things are going to change. It starts to feel somewhat strange. Some events are being tested without the risk of being arrested. June's a month, it all will change. Except it didn't, it delayed. There's a further wait for our clubs and please no dancing in our pub 2021 turned out to be another shocking one I'd like to think that 22 won't be the same old part of Dougie do at last July, is it true? No more rules for me and you Just vaccinations for the nations We can hug and kiss relations August through to mid-November All was good if I remember But what is this? That I hear a new mutation has appeared Here we go, I hear you say The virus clearly wants to say It all feels like deja vu Boris tells us what we cannot do As I say, not as I do One rule for me, one for you PM says, just stay safe I want to put you in his smug fat face 2021 turned out to be another shocking one I'd like to think that 22 won't be the same old part of Doggy Do. 2021 turned out to be another shocking one. I'd like to think that 22 won't be the same old part of Doggy Do.
I feel like I'm really uh, aware of, well, at least the COVID restrictions of how they worked out in 2021 now. Yeah, it was quite comprehensive, that, wasn't it? Was it was really comprehensive. Yeah. And now, if anyone, anytime I forget what happened with COVID in 2021, I can refer back to that song. January. I've instantly forgotten it, but yes, you know, you can do it. It's yeah. much better than looking at a pamphlet. Which is what you did to a... Yeah, to try and get the dates it wasn't right. a pamphlet, it was Google, wasn't it? Uh, no, no, it was a, well, it wasn't a pamphlet, it was a WhatsApp, because I asked your mother and she sent it to you, your mum. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. What, mum wrote the lyrics? For no, song? I said to her, I can't remember when things happened, and she said, oh, I've got something that you can look at, and she, she sent January, it to me. January, but... <laughs> I wrote the lyrics, you can right. tell that by the quality of them. <laughs> well... Anyway, yes. that was a really good song, though. I enjoyed yeah, it. Um, well, yeah, I, it was a song, though. It started, it started <laughs> off all right, and then I got disillusioned no, don't put yourself with it. down. Don't all right. yourself anyway, down. don't worry about that. I'm not going to worry about it. It's gone. That's gone now. On to the next one. Yeah, like the next year. You know what I think? That's gone. We should move on to the next thing altogether. Like you just said, um, maybe a game. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Woohoo! It's the most wonderful part of the thing. Of the podcast. podcast. Right, okay. So it's game time, right? And, and we know what game time means. Well, what it means most of the time. Anyway, it means that I've written another sting. And I'm just going to throw, throw about a warning now. In case you haven't noticed by the length of this podcast, it's probably going to be a longer one. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Never mind. Anyway, uh, so obviously, step one, I've made a sting. Oh, yeah. Step one. Yeah. So I always make a sting. So why don't you Step play two, my sting? Play the sting. Play the sting. Step two, play the sting. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If all the years news you forgot, it's completely escaped your mind. You might will struggle. As per usual, then, we've got a quiz. The a quiz. quiz? We have got a quiz. And, and obviously, the sting explains Step three, you. quiz. <clears throat> Step three, quiz. Cough, quiz. Um, and I've got 12 questions for you. Cough it. For the 12 months of the year. Right? Wow. Very They're all clever. over the place. This is the first time, I think, you've done a quiz where you've actually thought out how many questions you've... Or it's either you've written 12 questions and gone, oh, that works out perfectly, actually, just by coincidence, or you actually thought that out. Well, I'd, yeah, I thought I'd, all do, I'd do 12. Wow. They don't actually relate to the different months. I've just done 12 of them. In fact, they, they it's all about 2021, but, you know, it wouldn't be standard stuff. Maybe you should have 2021 questions. Yeah, that, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. So shall we kick off? Um, not Let's yet. find and, out. Not yet. Now we can, yep. Let's find out how much you really know and paid attention in 2021. Question one. Why did 40 camels get banned from a competition in Saudi Arabia? Wow. Right? <laughs> Why did 40 camels get banned? It's a I thought this choice. was going to be pop culture. No, it's just these significant things that happened in that time. So why did 40 camels get banned from a competition in Saudi Arabia? Was it A... It was a race and they had been fitted with robotic in, robotic implants to make them faster and give them an advantage. Was it B, they were discovered to be men dressed up as camels, a bit like the old giraffes. Um, <laughs> camels. The first we, rule of two-minute debate uh, is we don't, don't talk them. about... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, they were discovered to be men dressed up as camels, which is frowned upon in Saudi law. Or was it C, it was a beauty competition and the camels had been having Botox and fillers to make them more attractive? It's C, isn't it? They've had Botox and fillers. They've given it the camels C. Botox and fillers. They've done things to their humps and to their faces to make them more attractive with Botox and, and uh, fillers and were subsequently banned from the competition. You should. I don't feel like you should do cosmetic surgery on an animal unless... It is for the benefit, benefit of the, the animal. Benefit of the animal. Well, they right, could so get just, a career out I've of it. Seen, I've seen cosmetic surgery done on fish 
uh, in the sense that their fins aren't growing correctly. So they've cut back their fins in the hope the fin will then grow correctly again. I've seen that and... And I've also seen them try to fix eyeballs for fish as well. And I feel like if it's going to benefit the animal, then yeah. Well, this but is purely for them to win money. So, so the that's only for the benefit of know. the person. No. There you go. Well done. Was wrong. You got that right. Okay. Question two. How did an... Inta- how did an... In- ad- for God's sake... Is this going to happen with every question? Are you yes. going to give it a go and then how have to redo did it? The- an Italian man who was afraid of injections try to get round the problem when getting a COVID jab? Did he A, send his twin brother who ended up having two jabs? Did he B, use a f- old f- the old false arm trick? Or did he C, fake his own death while in line? Oh, these questions are good, Dad. Well done. Because yeah. they're all silly answers. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say he sent his twin. You think he sent his twin and his twin ended up having two injections for him? Yeah. Well, you'd be wrong. He actually used an old false arm oh, but didn't get away Father with it. He got, he got in a lot of trouble about it, but he tried using a false is this arm. Some, where was this, sorry, did you say? Italy. Is that the mandatory vaccination? I believe there? it was, yes. Right. Because obviously just wouldn't go. No. Question three. What was so unusual about the winner of New Zealand's Bird of 2021 award? Was it a bird that's never been seen in New Zealand? Was it a bird that was extinct? Or was it not even a bird? I'm going to go, it wasn't even a bird. You'd be absolutely right. It was a bat. (laughs) So the winner of New Zealand's Bird of the Year 2021 was a bat. And the reason they did it was because to try and uh, raise awareness for the bats that were having a bit of a crisis at the time. (laughs) That sounded terrible. It's like they were upset. Are they the only flying mammal? Uh, Foxes, flying foxes. Uh, I've seen people throw... uh, Flying fish. (laughs) Ferrets. Uh, Yeah, yeah. No, but flying foxes are glide. They glide. Yeah. And like the same with the monkeys that glide uh, and also mammals, yeah, there are some fish marsupials that, glide. that um sort of have that ability to kind of glide, like you say. I don't know. But, That'll have to be another bats question. Can fly. Bats can straight up fly. They can. Straight up fly. They, yeah. they can fly all different directions, not just straight up. Wow. Right, anyway. Batman can't. Question four. Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbank. Welcomed their first child in 2021. But what was his name? Was it A, Philip Hawke? Was it B, Charles Kestrel? Or was it C, James Falcon? Um, I feel like Philip Hawke because it's named after Philip and also Tony Hawke. Why would they name it after Tony Hawke? He's a big fan. Is he? Well, old Jack Brooksbank. Yep. That's hard to say that. I know I'm finding everything hard to say, but that is. You're absolutely right. It was Philip Hawke, spelt with an E. What, Uh, Philip? At the end of Hawke. Oh. (laughs) Number five. Which of these was not a category in the 2021 National Beard and Moustache Championships held in Scranton, Pennsylvania? Scranton? Hmm. Was it A, the Dali, B... The Fu Manchu. Was not, sorry. Yeah. Or C, the Hitler. The Fu Manchu. You're saying the one that was not a category in that competition was the Fu Manchu. Yep. That is incorrect. It's obviously the Hitler. Yeah, but I thought maybe it would have been something controversial. Fu Manchu and Hitler are rather on the borders of... You know, whether it's you should should or not, should or shouldn't have that sort of beard, but never mind. Okay, so it was Moustache, the Hitler moustache. Number six, Swedish pop icons ABBA released a new album, the first in 40 years. But what was it called? Was it called A, Jimmy, 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 a jock after midnight? <laughs> Right, <laughs> here we go. It's hey, all the ball. Ding. Was it called B, Voyage, or was it called C, Pooper Scooper? Pooper Scooper. <laughs> See, this is where Jimmy, 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 a joke after midnight. And now, can you make a song out of Voyage? 
Voyage. <laughs> it's clearly that one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's Voyage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I know. That was pretty poor. Okay, number seven. What version of an existing toy caused a storm in this year? Was it A, a gender-neutral potato head? Was it B, action person? Or was it C, don't wake stepdad? <laughs> <laughs> For, for, for children specifically who are aware that they're, they're this is stepdad, yeah, because um, they might not want to play it because right. they might not refer to him as as dad. That's fair. Um, and you say an action person, action person, or a gender neutral potato head. Well, the the the, the clear one is them calling the action person really doesn't roll off the tongue for one. But I mean, if they want to do it, they can do it. But they changed the name of Mr. Potato Head to Potato Head. They did indeed. To specify right. it is no gender. That's absolutely right. You obviously knew that. <clears throat> okay, and I put in a lot of work on this next one. When Trump was first made president, he was roughly autumn glow on the Dulux paint chart. Do but you what, know this for a fact? I do, because I've, I've got the paint chart. <laughs> But what colour was he closest to when he left the White House in 2021? So you did, sorry, you did quite a lot of work on this one because you matched him to a Dulux I'd culture. looked at pictures of him when he first got elected and then pictures of him when he left the White House and matched him against Dulux. It was charts. Dulux one as well? Yeah. They were, they were all the Dulux one. So he Didn't was Autumn Glow. Did you look it up online? Yeah. It was Autumn Glow when he went into the White House. But was yeah. he, when he left the White House, was he A, Harvest Gold... Was he B, Lucky Penny, or was he C, Spiced Squash? Oh. See, the thing is, I don't know what any of those shades are. Um, I'm going to go for Lucky Penny. Oh, that wasn't very lucky for you. He was, in fact, a dead ringer for Spiced Squash. <laughs> Spiced Squash. <laughs> yes, there we go. Okay, moving swiftly on to number nine. Crime Drama... Behemoth, right? Behemoth. Yeah. Line of Duty reached its climax in 2021 with a big reveal of the identity of the mysterious H character. But who was H? Was it A, DSU Ian Slip-Ons? <laughs> I don't know where this is going. Was it, was it B, DSU Ian Buckles? Or was it C, DSU Ian Laces? You realise you normally put the obvious one as B as well, don't you? Um, is Ian Buckles? It was Ian Buckles, yeah. DSU. Yeah, I didn't even watch it. One called Ian Slip-Ons or Ian Laces. Ian Laces, sorry. So, okay. Number 10. In 2021, an image of the crucifixion of Christ appeared in what? A, a tree... B, the clouds. C, a tangerine. Oh, this one's a tricky one. In what country? I don't know. I can. I'll, I'll show you a picture of it. Just have afterwards. a guess. Uh, I'm going to say South America, but I don't know that for sure. It could be anywhere in the clouds. World. Are very. Um, if it's South America, Coffee. it could have been Rio de Janeiro and it's literally just him in it the is, clouds. Yeah. Um, no, so the clouds one is very... That could happen all the time, you know. Yeah, You, you could see yeah, whatever you want yeah, in the clouds. Yeah, often see you can see whatever you want in the um, The tree one would be interesting. Well, there's one in our local woods that looks like an anus, isn't it? So Yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. Um, but Jesus Christ's anus. Well, I don't know what his anus looked like. It was divine, apparently, but yes, go on. Anus divine. Um, I'm going to go with the tangerine. You're right. It was <laughs> yeah. a tangerine. And I can't show you a picture of it now, but I will show you a picture of it. I look forward to it. Um, number 11. Which of these has not been used as a slogan by Bojo and his band of merry men and women? That's Boris Johnson for yeah. anyone listening outside of the UK. Is it hands, face, space? Ah, yeah, that was. Thank you. Is it B... Cheese, wine, party. <laughs> Is it C, eat out to help out? Um, now, when you say 
Bojo and his band of merry men, I assume you mean the fact that it hasn't been used as a slogan for us all to see because yeah. I feel like the cheese wine party has definitely been used by them um, but not on not officially not officially uh, so it's cheese wine party you're absolutely right it is cheese wine party they did have a cheese and wine party they did didn't they I don't know if they had cheese and wine they probably I had think wine. they did I think that was a bit that was proved right, um, they proved there was definitely cheese definitely there definitely cheese there um, they got there was the, some residue they, got, they found some residue because they, they, they got do. the mouse you detectives have to look at line of do you remember duty? the mouse detectives yeah yeah they got those in <laughs> To check. 12, right? This is your last question, 12, but it's got a lot of questions within it. Right? So when you said at the beginning, I've done 12 questions to yep. match up the amount of months, really you did more than 12, but you just put them into sections so there is 12. Yeah, interesting. because actually there's uh, 24 or something. Wow. Right, anyway, <laughs> one of the big news Rude stories, question 12, one of the big news stories of 2021 was the War of the Caterpillar Cakes with Aldi, M&S and assortment of other locking horns in various legal challenges. But can you name the more well-known brands from these Aldi products? I'm going to give you an Aldi product. And I'm oh, going is to... this the entire 12? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Right. So, A, Oblongs. Squares. Yes. Rice Krispie Squares. B, Mysticals. You mentioned them early on today. Mysticals. What? They're uh, uh, a sweet... Uh, Chocolate sweet thing. Mysticals. Um, are they a bit like heroes? No. Um, mysticals. I'm trying to think, because what is mystical? What's a synonym? Normally is where it goes around. Yeah, but it's not really like that. All right. I don't know then. Minstrels. Wow. C. <laughs> Wheat shreds. I didn't eat minstrels today. You mentioned minstrels today when I we were talking. You don't did. remember saying you did. it at all. Yeah. I remember all your sweet based. I really don't remember. I don't think I mentioned uh, minstrels at all. C. Today. Sweet shreds. S- sweet what? Shreds. Shreds. Wheat shreds. Wheat shreds. Shredded wheat. Yep. <laughs> D. Norpak. Lurpak. Yep. How do they get away with this? E. Jag the bitter. Jag the Bitter. Jägermeister. So, yep. <laughs> F. Seal Bars. Chocolate Bar. Penguins. Yep. <laughs> G. I didn't know about that one. Bixies. Bixies. Um, Cereal. Bixies Rice Crisps. No, um, Weetabix. Yep. <laughs> my, one of my personal favourites. Oh, there's two on here that I really like. H. Cartwheels. Cart- Wagon Wheels. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, eh. Because I'm going down the alphabet now. Fruity shots. Oh, fruit pastels? No. Drink. Um, oh, fruity shots. Interesting. Fruity shots. Becky used to drink Why them we do all this the time. Fire? Um, fruit shoots. Yep. <laughs> Another one of my favourite. Jay. Teddy faces. <laughs> <laughs> Is that pom bears? Yep, pom bears. K. You might use it on your hair. Headstrong. Headstrong. Um, headstrong. Yeah. Isn't there like um? Oh, I can't remember Shampoo. the brand name. Headstrong. Um. Oh, is it Head and Shoulders? Yep. Right. Another great one. This L Horatio Hog sweets. Percy Pigs. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Horatio. Oh, another one Horatio I really like. Hog. M. Snack noodle. <laughs> Pot noodle? Yep. And the last one, N, monster claws. Ah, uh, monster munch. It is indeed. Oh, I enjoyed the Aldi round. tell you what, if, you ever, if you're ever in trouble, if you've ever committed a, a, a terrible crime and you need getting off, get Aldi's lawyers in because they're clearly the best in the world. Rockies, they, they rebranded Rockies to Wackos. Yep. But the cat, the caterpillar cake was Cuthbert the caterpillar, wasn't it? Yeah. Did you say that in the question? No. Right. I just knew the answer. That's what I thought. I, I was don't know what to I answer. said in the question. To be honest, it was a long while ago because there was so many of them cakes. supplemented questions. Well, there you go. There's your last quiz of kind of 2021. Even, even though really it's 2022 it? now. Yeah. But the last quiz so you're just relating to, to that year. 
Well, well, not necessarily because if we the do last it, quiz, because <laughs> it could be anything. Anyway, let's shut up about that. Well, we have to do the decade quiz. Yeah, when we've been doing this in twenty yeah, thirty, we do true. the entire twenties yeah. well, decade. Perhaps, perhaps don't listen in to like, me when I start talking. In like okay, that's it for years. me. That's it from you. Yeah. Is there anything else we need to cover? Well, actually, there is a couple of things. Yeah. Um, so, as I'm sure everyone's aware, because it's very popular, but we have a website. Yeah called fatherandsundays.com yeah and on that website you can there's a contact page where there's a contact form yeah where you can send us a message yeah you can either do that or you can send us an email directly or also there's also the social media platforms you can send messages on but whatever so we have had a message in this week right from our old friend avid listener or al oh welcome back hi al um so he says subject happy new year Good start, really, isn't it? It is. Message. Hi, father and son. Avid listener here. As a massive fan of the podcast and one of the only listeners to ever write in, you're not wrong, I thought it might be rude not to send a quick message message wishing you both a happy new year. Consider pen... <laughs> Consider the penguin to some that make sure to listen in every week. I feel that, uh, like I've really got to know members of the family and couldn't quite contain my excitement when you broke the news that Annie is pregnant and Becky's got engaged. Smashing. Keep up the good work. Forever listening. Ow. P.S. David, seeing as you're going to have two son-in-laws, if Connor's not around, have you ever considered the father and son-in-law's days, son-in-law days, the pun explainable guide to absolutely nothing. You started off so strong, Al. Started off so strong. And then oh. you come up waddling in because you're a penguin from Belgium with your little stone getting your own stone and replacing the other stone that's already there with your stone and your puns I I I because I've actually experienced these puns uh, I've it, it takes me quite a long time and some medication to get over it so I don't know how soon that'll be happening but maybe just maybe you know, you, you've you've been such a uh, a reliable and dedicated servant to this podcast with your emails in that we may have to do something with you. We may have to bring you into. He's uh, not saying about him. He's saying about a son-in-law. Oh, is he? Yeah. I'll oh, forget it then. Yeah. <laughs> It's just confused me. To be me. fair, getting More a than anything, he's just confused me now. I mean, I know we have the, the magical collar that allowed Bilbo and Maui and also the fish to speak, yeah. but I don't know if it works on penguins. Right. We could give it a go. We could give it a go. Okay. Um, Is that but it? Yeah. So to be fair, actually, no, Al, that was you. a really nice message. Thank you very much. Um, Happy New Year to you. But stop trying to give away my job. Yeah. Have you, need to be, you need to contact me directly rather than on wow. here. Wow. Wow. you got your own personal stuff going on. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> contact you directly. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, that was a message uh, we had uh, from the website that yep. I wanted to read out. Um, we did also have a strange message on Instagram, but I'm not going to be reading that one out. Why is that? Very suggest- suggestive. I just want to go out and say... Like um, a biscuit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, suggestive. Oh, not sorry. digestive. Um, I just want to go out and say that, um, yes, we we do put pictures on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, which you can follow on us, and you can also message us on those. Um, but uh, we are not open to the kind of things that was put forward in that particular message. Um they said we were very good looking people. Um, not the word good looking. They used the word beginning with S. Yeah. Um, and that they wanted something else from us. But I think I've had to kindly turn them down uh, because that's not the kind of thing that a father and son does. Yeah. Read read the actual title of our podcast, right? Even if you were just thinking, well, it's worth a shot and there was two blokes on a podcast. <laughs> but you've got a podcast called Father and Son Days. With a father and son. Now, I'm sure there's people out there that have no issue with that. And I ain't one of them. There's so much wrong with that, <laughs> that request that you made. Uh, but, you know, it's correspondence. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to knock it, but we are going to say politely, uh, no, it's all right. 
but I'll message you directly. <laughs> <laughs> right. So is that but it? yeah, that, that's all we've had um, this particular week. Both. I mean, at least one of the messages was really nice. Thank you, Al. Yeah. Um, I'm sure she meant well. Yeah. If it in fact was a she. Well, the profile the picture, picture would suggest that. Yeah, it, it was, was a she. she. And okay. to be honest, normally I've had messages similar in the past, and in fairness. When I say similar in the past, I mean they're normally bots. You just get bots just saying, check me out on this link oh, and right, it's a really yeah, dodgy yeah, looking so. link and stuff like that. Or even if it's not a dodgy looking link, you just think, well, you yeah. expect me to pay for something that I'm not actually don't want to pay for. I wouldn't even want to see let pay, yet pay for. However, um, this one at least said, the two of you are really this. Would you like to be involved in this? Um, clearly they, they actually saw that it was two of us, which is nicer yeah. than the notice. Here's a quick question for you. If it had just mentioned one of us and it was me, would you have been upset about that? <laughs> <laughs> have a think about that. Not too keen on the really furry guy, but... <laughs> no, okay. Right, let's move on. Particularly furry. It's furry the guy, yeah. you got a recent Instagram post, I have not shaved my beard in a while, trimmed my beard in a while. Um, but yeah, that's it. If you do want to send us a message, though, as I said, you can do that on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can send a message on there, but you can also like and follow us on those. That'd be great. Uh, our website, though, you can send a message on there, the contact page like I mentioned, but we've got loads of other things on our website, such as the actual episodes, uh, links to where else you can get the episodes because they're available on all platforms, uh, a What's New page that has nothing new on it recently. No. Uh, New for 2022. Absolutely nothing. I'm not even <laughs> sure there's anything for... Two- oh, no, we started it in 2021, so there must be. Yeah. Okay. Um, but there's also a store yeah. which you can help support this podcast, uh, which would be fantastic if you if you did want to get something from there. Um, I'm looking at adding a couple new things uh, soon as I've got my new graphic tablet, which allows me to actually do more illustrations. Cool. So something a bit more personal. Uh, when I say personal, I mean, you know... You're not going to start Although doing I pictures did. of that again, are you? No. <laughs> but not I did. that personal. That's what got us... That's that. what bled through the paper at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, okay. But, um, yeah. I mean, I did do the... the oh, All the designs myself. Yes. Um, even to the point where I actually created my own card, the 11 of Diamonds. But, anyway, that's on there. Available. Um I think I've mentioned everything in yeah. actually a roundabout way. Yeah, we're on all the platforms. Roundabouts. That's what it. do you think of roundabouts? Roundabouts, uh, overrated. Right. Interesting. Okay. So, that's it for this week. 49. 49. So, next week's the biggie. Who'd have thought we'd have made it to 50? I didn't. Right. <laughs> we'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Bye.